your face tattoos. Mm -hmm. You have several face tattoos. Can you explain the meanings behind any of them? Can you share any of them with us? Some of them personal. Okay. But this one for my last name. I got a 100. Oh, I'm not sure. It's one of the two. On one of the eyesights because that's all I see when I wake up when I'm around my niggas. You know what I'm saying? 100. So, and because I have a 100% of vision, I can see through, fake or not. I got a cup. Yep. Drink, baby. You know? Uh... A crack in one of the corners of my forehead. Yep, we see that. Dropped on my head when I was a baby. Um, that's I think that's about. That's what you can show. Oh, I got my uh my daughter name, and my and my son name Scotty Junior on one or two, and my daughter name right here somewhere. And uh. I really can't even see how I love them. <laughs> you do have a lip tattoo as well. Mm-hmm. That's because, like... The other side there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, um... Just hungry for it, you know? Yeah, thirsty for it, hungry for it. I really want to call it, you know what I'm saying? Now, you have several tattoos all over your body. Mm hmm How... F what was your first tattoo ever? My first tattoo was actually a big tattoo at 12 years old. Uh, 12 years old, you got a tattoo? Yeah. This rest in peace, my cousin Carl. Yeah, it was. Now, generally, I think tattoos have to have some sort of parental guidance or somebody sign off with, I don't know, 16, 18. I don't know what the direction Oh, where we from, man? <laughs> a baby. You could be seven years old and go get a tattoo. Wow. Back then, t I had I had these two goals in my mouth. I had these two goals in my mouth since I was about 12 or 11. About 11, 12, one of the two. Yeah, real, real goal, like, you know, so. So your first tattoo is on your arm at 12. Mm -hmm. How soon, what age were you when you got your first face tattoo and made that decision in your life? I was about 15, 16. And why go for the face? Um. Why not, like some of those tattoos you could have easily put on your arm? Or? When I seen, cause I had, like I ain't gonna lie, but when I was like 16, I had my arms covered up. But um, like when I made a pretty dollar off rap, I know I ain't wanted to do nothing else, you know? And I know I was good at it, you know? I was getting booked for shows and all this other type of stuff. So I seen no other way around me getting money. I love rap so much, man, like, I actually most definitely pretty much be in the studio every day of my life when I was free, period. You know, I make a song. I make a song in 20 minutes, a full song. I don't write. I can't write. Like, I don't know how to even write no more, you know? I just, like, the beat talk to me, so I talk back, you know what I'm saying? Now, which of the face tattoos was your actual first face tattoo? My first face tattoo. Tattoo was this. Ah, the one directly in the middle. Mm -hmm. First face. Now, okay, with your face tattoos, have you ever felt discrimination, stereotyping, or profiling? Oh, hell yeah, yeah. But I really don't even care. Because at the end of the day, they don't have to live in his body, you know? And, um, like, it's 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 a, it's a lot of different ways around there. So I never kind of, I never kind of was pissed off at nobody stereotyping me because I understand how the world work. Period. You know, but um, in my book, you can't tell me what to do with my own body. You know what I'm saying? So and I make my own money. I do what I want. You know. So I mean, they got laws, but you know, I stay in the lane of my own. You know what I'm saying? So. Any crazy, ha any crazy things happen because of the profiling or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, every time I get pulled over, police automatically think, oh, you a killer. Or every little, you know, bad bitch I meet, when I run into her mama, she think I'm a killer. Or I sell drugs. Or, man, I swear to God, on everything I love. I never sold drugs in my life. Like, I never had a consistent hustle. I never was a trap. I never was none of that. You know, and I'm I, I'm proud to admit that, you know, like, that's how I rock. Yeah. 
Now that's an interesting statement that you say because not many people in rap music would ever say the words you just said. Yep. Why do you think that is? Why are you so, why don't you care about saying that, that sentence while because a lot of people are ashamed to say it or hide it or? Because actually, I'm not going to even lie, like, some part of the rap game is like WWE wrestling. It's kind of fake on some on some stuff. So, you know, people gonna be halfway and try to look like this person they not and do this and that to try to stand out to do this. But if you be yourself, like yourself might be more amazing than you pretending to be somebody else. So I just tell the truth. I like all my rap music. I rap. I tell the truth. Like that's why, you know, like. If I made a song about somebody or like a diss song to reply back to somebody else, that's why niggas be so fucking mad because I'm one of them real ones. I'm going to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. You know. I, uh, you know, sometimes I ask a rapper a question about their past in regards to maybe jobs they've had before rap, let's say, or... You know, we talk about their school history and we talk about college and stuff. And when I ask some people these simple questions, have you had a job before? Mm -hmm. Have you tried college? No, not you particularly, oh, yeah. but sometimes when I've asked some rappers these questions, it's almost like they pause for a second and I can infer, it looks like, do they want to answer that or not? Right, it's, right. it's almost like they're ashamed to say <laughs> it or, you know what I mean? You know how I go though, because yeah. people don't want to seem like this, you, you know, like certain questions like that put niggas in the... Damn, I, I used to never get money before. I don't want to sound like a broke ass nigga. Uh, but you came from the bottom. Anybody came from the bottom, period. Unless you was just born with a silver spoon and your parents was rich, that's a different story. But uh, a lot of these, I can't run. We came from the bottom. And then, like, right off back, like, you ask me a question, I'm coming with it. You. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how that go.